A century ago, silent films were all the rage. The films were silent. The experience at the theater, though, was anything but. Last week, Milwaukee Film celebrated the past, present, and future of film at the historic Oriental Theater with the grand debut of a 1925 Wurlitzer pipe organ. Yukari Nakayama has the story of a project five years in the making. Silent films, movies without synchronized sound or dialogue, leaving the heavy work to the facial expressions of the actors and the emotions of a scene driven by live musicians. But did you know, at the height of the silent films era around 1925, this kind of pipe organ became a hot commodity for its ability to imitate almost any kind of sound effect. <laughs> are real, actual instruments up in either chamber that an organist has control over. So if somebody were to knock on the door, you have a wood block or something that can knock on the door for you. Bringing a silent movie to life. Originally, when films started to exist, they were silent films. When a theater needed, say, a soundtrack, they would either hire a 30-person orchestra or they'd buy one of these and pay one guy to do the job instead of 30. That piece of cinematic history now resides on Milwaukee's east side. A 94-year-old Wurlitzer pipe organ now stationed at the equally historic Oriental Theater. An instrument the Milwaukee Film Organization got their hands on in 2019, says media coordinator Robin Ehrlich. So this organ is just exciting because it's an original 1925 piece of cinema history that's been restored to its original state and sound and so people will get to experience a lot of what cinema was like in the 20s in this beautiful theater that was also built in the 20s. Ehrlich says the restoration of the Wurlitzer, one of the most produced pipe organs in those days, has taken about five years. Toby Washburn, one of the restoration technicians, says it's been an undertaking, but one that's been worthwhile. What I've actually kept track of was how long I've spent wiring this instrument, which is well over 400 hours. Washburn says the instrument with seemingly endless buttons, wiring, and pipes has been fairly easy to put back together. The challenging part... The hard part comes in is needing lots of manpower to move some of these items around. There are pieces in this instrument that weigh over 1,000 pounds on their own. big guy, which is essentially the lungs of the instrument. So basically, it's, it's just a giant fan that pressurizes the air through the main wind line here across both chambers and various other parts. Washburn says it's an insight on how intricate and impressive these Wurlitzer instruments really are. At their height of their, of their time doing what they were doing, they were producing an entire pipe organ every single day. So they figured out how to mass produce these and do them with an amazing amount of uh, quality control and uh, consistency. And says the job of an organist playing this instrument wasn't easy. A lot of times organists would have the luxury of a couple days to preview a film and figure out what is happening with it, or some days you just had to show up and hit go. It was a very ex expensive acquisition and installation process because we needed to make sure that we were doing it right. Milwaukee Film debuts the organ to the public this winter. This is just a really exciting, like, momentous occasion for Milwaukee Film. It's been so long in the making. Milwaukee Film has been a champion of the cinematic experience. Bringing it into the modern era, like today, it's, it's important to uh, keep the tradition and lineage of it alive. 